guys, Underground Geek here. And all right, we got Godzilla in hell number four. You know what that means, guys? This is the next to last issue. That means the next issue is the last issue. I hope you like my series so far. Uh, I've been going through each episode or each issue. If you haven't seen it, go back and look at my videos. Uh, this is a one through five series back in 2015, and this is number four. Each, each issue has a different artist, and it has a different Godzilla, which is kind of interesting. Now, this story uh, basically is Godzilla going through all the different stages of hell of Dante's Inferno, which is really cool. Whoever thought of this was very creative. So, this is issue number four, and we're using GMK Godzilla from 2001. So, we have a classic shot right here uh, Godzilla is roaring in victory and he has just defeated both Destroya and King Ghidorah that's awesome now in, in real story wise though this GMK would have a problem fighting these two Godzilla or these two creatures because he's a lot smaller than the other Godzillas he's only like uh, he's classic Godzilla size where these guys are usually uh, very big even for the uh, Heisei Godzilla in the 90s but who cares, because this is a cool shot. All right, so here we are. All the villains are laying there defeated. Uh-oh, it looks like Destroy it is back up. And this guy's always like, what? What you saying? So anyway, he wakes up and King Ghidorah wakes back up. So now we in trouble. So anyway, they both blast Godzilla at the same time. He uses his blast to counter theirs. I mean, we've got some great shots in this comic. This compared to X-23 a while ago that I read, the uh, Enemy of the State, uh, all-new Wolverine. I mean, this blows that out of the water. But uh, we got some more cool shots here. He blasts Destroy out of the way. King Ghidorah does his, uh, his traditional jump and Godzilla actually grabs him and throws him by his tail. Uh, Destroyer flies by and smacks him. Smashes him into a building. He's flying around. Here comes King Ghidorah. He's going to smash a, through a building after him. Uh, as he comes through there, he kind of like gets stuck. But anyway, uh, so King Ghidorah is now trying to find Godzilla. He doesn't know where he's went. We can kind of see him disappear right there. And he pops up and blasts him. At the same time, King Ghidorah bites him and flies him up into the sky and drops him. But like I said, we got some pretty cool shots here. It's very interesting. And what's so cool about this is there's no dialogue in this comic book. But you can tell exactly what's happening through the story of the pictures. So Godzilla is falling right onto this tower. And it just impels him. It's pretty dangerous. But in Godzilla fashion, he just gets more pissed off. So at that point, he starts blasting at him. Uh, Destroy Destroyer kicks him and knocks him down. Uh, he retaliates by blasting him back. Pretty cool little shot there. And now as he's trying to hit that wall, uh, the mini destroyers come in and uh, they actually look like they cut his head off but I don't know maybe his head grew, grows back pretty good pretty quickly uh, but anyway now they're coming in to attack him from behind there's King Ghidorah he comes smacks him down smacks him punches him kicks him they're all both attacking him he's getting more and more pissed off um, this keeps going on and on and on, and he's about had enough at this point. They're both attacking him. Cla classic shot. Sorry, I'm having some problems with my video, but we've got a classic shot here of Godzilla fighting. He goes down. They start fighting each other. Then at that point, he wakes up and see his, sees his opportunity. So as they're fighting, he goes back to the wall and starts attacking it, and they're like, wait a second. He's over there fighting. We got to go. So they go over there and attack him. They shoot a blast at him, but he ducks down and he ends up hitting the wall. 
it makes a huge hole and that was his plan so good job but it's short-lived because he sees something obviously that he doesn't like which is nothing so here we have next issue doesn't look too good for old Godzilla but all in all it's been a great series so far um, you know I can go on and on about this series you can go through it pretty fast because it doesn't have any dialogue but it's got some great shots here I mean look at this artwork all of this they, they show so much facial expression to be monsters you know what's happening Look at that cool scene with the colors there and the blast. I mean, this is awesome. So I really suggest checking this comic out, Godzilla on Hell number four. Uh, tomorrow I'll do uh, Godzilla on Hell number five, the conclusion. But tell me what you think about this. I know there's a lot of cuts in the video. I had some issues with the camera. But other than that, tell me what you think about the comic. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me what else you want me to review. And uh, just have a great day, guys. All right, bye.